is the next facility. After the the enforcement platform with the giant gun. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Yeah, it's uh not in as good a shape as the building up top side either. Can I scan this? <sighs> no, I can't scan it! There's warfers here! Oh god, no! You guys always show up at literally the worst times. Fuck off! Ugh, I hate those guys so much. I love you. But I hate the warpers! Now to find a way in. This is one of the facilities where the first time I found it, it was unfinished. And you could get in, but it was completely textureless. And then I had to come back later after it was finished. So, this, I have been in here. This is the last completed, as far as I know anyway, facility Detecting that I have been in. Broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. I definitely didn't. I, do, I, de I don't remember that. Hi, Uncube! Thank you! I sure hope those hazardous- Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, <sighs> indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Yeah, way to add the clearly in there. I think I'm safe in here, so hold on. Let me, uh... I'm gonna pull up the alien thing again. Disease research facility. Depth 800 meters. That's where we are right now. This was a disease research facility. Live specimen study. Synthesis of antidote. They were working on an antidote in here. Am I the fucking... Oh my god. Really? Oh god. Okay, well it looks like there's just a data a data thing in there. Welcome aboard. I have like three purple artifacts, but they're back at my base. Which means I'm going to have to come back down here, god damn it. This place is terrifying. Okay, this place is a lot scarier than I remember it being. Oh good. There was something in there. Oh, the music just got really intense. Okay, take it easy. Ow. Oh, that's a giant egg. Oh, that's a large egg. Get away from me. Yeah, look, they, they, they were researching them. That's a lava ray, I believe. We haven't we haven't seen those yet because uh, they're they're quite a ways down. Spoiler alert. Okay, again. I'm gonna repair my seatbelt. What is the- Oh, I can! I can scan it! Oh, is that what that is? Okay! Hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means of the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation process. To what end? It's unclear. Uh, well, I mean, they were working on a cure. We know that. And that other sea dragon just outside died of massive head trauma. And this place is a goddamn wreck! And they said the one that died was in the egg laying process, so chances are it probably. <gasps> what is that noise? What is that? Oh god, it's the it's the it's the platform with the goddamn eye on cube. God you scared me. Pick it up! Thank you. Chances are... Oh wait, no, there was a data thing there. Uh, the mama probably wasn't happy that her eggs were being stolen, and what the... Hello? Oh my, what the heck were you? Damage report, that'll be insightful. New PDA data. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Told ya. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system... Buckling. Facility sinking. So did this used to be up above? Collision with sea floor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Oh, oh fuck! Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. Three, one, 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. 
evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. They had a bunch of infected animals in here, and then they broke out. So they had to put the planet under quarantine. Infected individuals may not leave the planet. So did the Karab... Excuse me. Again, you guys have no clip on. It's cheating. Did the Karab virus originate in this facility? And then when they realized what they had made, they tried to synthesize a cure, and then obviously didn't get that far. Oh god, I can go in there. Okay, well, let's fucking do it then, shall we? Because I heard another freaking ion cube thing. Where is it? Ah, eh, whatever. I'm 800 meters below the surface right now. It's 8.20 p.m. recognize you at all. Is there anything else in here? Seems like this cage is kind of small for such a gargantuan thing. Vast predator. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life, though it has since decayed. Calorie intake recommended. Oh, I see. <laughs> My stomach growls. That's cute. When the facility collapsed, the specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. Well, it shares some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark. I suppose. Biter? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Including its distinctive double eye sockets, this fossilized spe specimen is significantly larger. Yeah, it is. And features unusual forearms rarely seen in aquatic species. This species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years and is evolutionary. its re evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition so it's extinct it almost looks like a uh, mudfish is, is, that, is that what those are called mud skippers which are, are real real animals look google it mud skippers except they have fins but yeah probably vital signs stabilizing I don't have any more water oh god I need to make this quick and get out of here Ow. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Oh, so this is where they made the warpers. That's a warper, which I guess now that you guys can see. Yep. Uh, I guess you know what? Maybe, maybe the, the bloop of the data we read will... Self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. If your mind is going where I think it's going... Uh, you're right. Oh, the sea treaders are leviathans too now? Really? Okay, cool. None of these things used to be listed as leviathans. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical crafting. It's not alive. It's a machine. One could say it's an android. Ha 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 Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by a central nervous system allowing the construct to teleport at will. Yes. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with advancing processing power and remote communications. Assessment programmable hunter slash killer avoid. I've been doing my best, CK. But yeah, they're machines. Whether they were alive at one point or not, I'm not 100% sure, but the fact they have, like, you know, non-synthesized parts, like a nervous system and all, makes me think that they were alive. Ew, biological matter. Warper parts. DNA from dozens of different organisms, largely originating off-world. So, okay, they're harvesting parts from other organisms and putting them inside the warper to make a new thing. So they were never alive. Varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies, this production line setup suggests that these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility and have outlasted them. Those are the Warper's arms and something else. God, this place is a wreck. 
Of course, if it fell from the surface, I guess I would imagine so. I keep getting tingling sensations in my neck, and I fucking hate it. That's the fossil I scanned already. I'm gonna move my Seamoth over to this data download thing, just so... I'm gonna have to get this data download, and then we're gonna have to head back for the surface immediately, so I can get the water. Oh, wait! I keep forgetting! I packed extra water for this exact purpose! I have water right here. I'm such a smart girl that plans ahead and then forgets about it, so I'm smart and stupid Vital at the same time. Stabilizing. Nailed it. Perfect. Okay. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. Uh oh. A self scan is strongly advised. Okay, I'll, I'll do a self scan as soon as I finish reading this. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Kara. Again, it used to be Karar. C A R A R. That's really cool. First encountered during routine network expansion on Outer Worlds. Network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths, 143 billion? Oh, that bodes well for my survival. Attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Stage 1, gradual immune system failure. Hmm. Stage 2, green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms. Stay, that, which is what I think Bart was starting to experience. Unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage 4, complete shutdown of executive function. Executive function? What does that mean? Like I go full-on zombie? Core worlds quarantined. Bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure unknown. They never got that far. Fucking swell. Core worlds? Plural? This isn't the only planet, planet infected by this thing. Shit, yo. Okay, well, I'll perform my self-scan right now. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Oh no! Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way Welcome to neutralize aboard, the infection. Oh, wait. Oh god, no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's not good. That's not good. Oh shit! I just got to shiver up my spine so bad. Oh no! It's multiplying in my bloodstream for the last two weeks. Oh, your immune system is currently combating the infection at low efficacy. Great, thanks. You may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. These will likely be exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be abatement and eradication. Thank you! I'm working on it, okay? Salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine. If there's no vaccine in the freaking disease research facility, where else would it be? Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the systems of the infection. What? Mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the symptoms. Find the source. Find the cure. Right? Oh no. It's like starting to surface. I have I have the green shit on me now too. Oh no. Oh fuck. I'm running out of time. Oh god. Damn it. Fuck balls. Ah, I'm stuck! Ow! Okay, well, that's probably the end of this facility, right? There's no cure here. But they were working on one. And I think the sea, the sea dragon skeleton outside was ramming itself into the facility because it had it, it had its babies and it was mad. But the head trauma killed it eventually. Now this, that egg back there is sterilized so it didn't hatch, but boy i'm willing to bet others did because <laughs> again it's not extinct spoiler alert and i don't have a purple artifact with me to get that but the 
fact that that data is behind a terminal makes me think it's very important. So we're going to be back down here eventually for me to unlock that. And I think... I could go and show you my favorite my favorite area of the game. It's so beautiful. God damn you. But I think I'll save that for when I'm actually in possession of the means to, you know, get past it. Because it's like, it's right at crush death at 900, I think. God damn it! Oh, duh, bob and weave, evasive maneuvers! can't kill it. It's not alive. It doesn't want anything. It is a machine. <laughs> the reference. Yeah, fuck, we'll never stop. As well as the heart attacks in this game, apparently. Okay, so I have to go back out on 63% power. Get out of the way, fish. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna explore. I'm not gonna explore. I'm out of water. I don't want to risk getting lost. I'm just gonna go. We'll be back down here. When I'm better prepared, I'll have more water. I'll have more food. I'll I'll go get that data download with the purple artifact. We'll explore off that way. We'll explore beyond where the facility is. But for now, I'm cutting my losses. I'm scared. I've met the ghost leviathan. My infection is spreading, and I'm not comfortable, and I'm really scared and uneasy and terrified. And I just, I want to go back up to the surface. I want to see the sun again. <laughs> it's dark and scary down here. A lot more scary than it used to be, that's for sure. And I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Ah, frickin' crab squids. So in case you don't know what... Let me see if I can trigger it. Come on, buddy. No? You're not gonna do it? Okay, what about you? You gonna do it? Um, uh, fuck. Oh, he didn't do it, huh? Oh, God! Ascend, ascend! Oh, God, this place is so creepy! It's so much creepier than it used to look, that's for sure. I used to be able to go down into the Blood Kelp Zone in the Lost River and be like, okay, back down here because there's nothing down here that's gonna kill me, and now literally everything wants to kill me everywhere in this game. Oh my god! Okay, where is my base? It's that way. Okay, I think I have to go over the goddamn crater. God damn it. Okay, that happened a lot sooner than I expected, but we made it to the Lost River. And we met the Ghost Leviathan. <laughs> I keep getting shivers down my spine. Oh my god. This game, dude. I have almost 300 hours of game of gameplay logged in on the PC version, early access PC version of this game. And uh, it's still getting to me. This game is still Excuse me. That was a reaper. This game is still multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Excuse me! Whatever you're doing is worth it. Going back home? Yes! Yes it is! Shut the fuck up! Oh god. I never I didn't see it. I heard it, but I didn't see it. So not only are the is the ghost leviathan down in the Lost River. There's a reaper leviathan guarding the entrance! <laughs> I hate this game so much. But I also love it. And you know what? I only just now realized. Okay, that's inconvenient and also rude. There was no frame rate issue down there. It used to lag so bad down there, guys. You have no idea. The frame rate used to be really bad down there. There was none. There was there were more life forms, more detail, a freaking leviathan down there. There was so much more content down there in the Lost River than the last time I played this, and there was no frame rate issues. I was so into it down there, I didn't even notice that. 
I've been going for four hours. I don't think I'm gonna top that. I'm gonna get started on revamping my base and building the stuff that I need and getting us on the road to building the Cyclops and the uh, the prawn suit. Oh right, we had a message all the way down there. Am I supposed to know what that means? Cause uh, you know, no comprende, no sprekens a android. Okay, cool. I think the warpers are mad at me. What the fuck? Excuse me? Oh, do I dare go out? I'm going out. What the heck was that? Something just attack my base? What the heck was that? I don't have any like weak spots here, do I? Oh my lantern tree's fully grown, that's cool. Oh right, and I can park my freaking sea moth in the moon pool now. I keep forgetting I can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Cause I'm at 53% battery charge. Okay. We did it guys. We met the Ghost Leviathan, we made it through the Blood Kelp Zone and into the Lost River to the second alien facility, and we made it back alive without losing my Seamoth. I still have the streak going. <laughs> oh god, it's been a long time since I've been that scared in a video game. That Ghost Leviathan is one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen in my life. And I'd seen it before in screenshots, but I'm like... Again, I'll ask the question again. How does something that big sneak up on me like that? <laughs> oh no, wait, I need that. This is the one, okay. But we built a moon pool. We made it to the Lost River. My disease is progressing. And as far as I know, there's no cure. Things are getting worse and worse. And I've been like this for such a long time. <laughs> I need to relax. Okay, it's 8.40 p.m. right now, so not only was that beyond terrifying, I'm also playing it at night. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done playing for a while. I'm done playing. I'm gonna drink my last bit of beer. And I'm done. I'm gonna work on uh, com completely revamping my base. It might be on a different pillar, just because it'd be easier. I'll probably build it over there. Um, so I'll be like just over there. Or maybe I'll move it over here somewhere. I'm gonna eat some of these. You see, it replenishes my food and my water. And it's an infinite supply because it's on a tree. Ain't that cool? We're in good shape. Minus, you know, the disease in my body. Minus that, we're, we're in good shape. So I hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough of Subnautica as much as I am, kind of, because that was really scary. <laughs> that might be the scariest moment I've ever experienced in Subnautica since, since the first, that, that first story I told with, with the sound files and, you know, hearing the Reaper Leviathan in the dark without knowing what it was. That was the scariest moment I've ever experienced in this game until now. Let's see, there's the Reaper, there's the Reef Back, there's the Sea Treader, there's the Ghost, and there's the Sea Dragon. And then there's this other one uh, that I won't say what it is. But, because again, I've only seen it in screenshots and I know its name. That's it. So I don't know where it is, but it's out here somewhere. So as of now, there are six Leviathans in the game with a seventh coming. There are so many more leviathans in this game than I thought there were. And two of them are relatively docile. The reef back is completely docile. The sea trader only gets pissed if you piss it off, which is understandable. But god, I need to make more water already. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough of Subnautica. Like a favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next episode. 
when we have a brand new, larger, and much better base.